At 7.30, we're Virginia Tech, who's 2-2. Two two. Travel number 7, Miami, who's 4-0. and oh. Miami favored by 17.5 points on ESPN. Kyron Drones has gone 64-107 for 765 yards, four touchdowns, three interceptions so far for the Hokies. Bayshold Tootin has had 67 carries for 391 yards, seven touchdowns. And Jalen Lane has had 17 catches for 247 yards and a touchdown. Cam Ward has gone 89 of 123, thrown for 1,439 yards, 14 touchdowns, two interceptions. And right now is the front runner for that Heisman Trophy. Jordan Lyles had 29 carries for 233 yards and three touchdowns, and Xavier Restrepo has had 20 catches for 362 yards and five touchdowns. Miami is 25-15 and 15 against Virginia Tech all-time. Last three games have gone to Miami from 2020 to 2022, and they have won five of the last six times these two teams have played. Um, Virginia Tech has not had the season it's wanted so far. Um, it started out with very high expectations for the Hokies, they expected to be competing for an ACC championship in his playoff spot this year, and it just hasn't quite gone to plan. You're 2-2 two and two in your non-conference games before you even enter the ACC um, season, and I think that's just like not how a lot of Virginia Tech fans expected their season to go so far. It's been a little rough. Uh, you lost the early game in overtime to Vanderbilt, and then you go down 16 to Rutgers, fight all the way, claw back to get in that game, only to lose by three. Really heartbreaking for Va Tech. They played actually really well in the fourth quarter against Rutgers, but were just unable to finish the comeback, finish it off, and get the win against Rutgers. Um, Miami's been insane, right? Like, Miami has looked like the best team in the ACC so far this year. There's a reason why they're ranked top ten. Um, there's not a lot of undefeated ACC teams left. I believe there's, what, like four at this point? Miami, Louisville... Pitt, Duke, I think are the only ones left standing undefeated-wise without a loss in the ACC. And so it's just going to be really interesting moving forward. Is is Miami be that much better than every other ACC team? Um, I'm leaning towards I think so. I mean, Clemson, I think, has looked really, really solid over these past couple weeks, and maybe Clemson can be like a second ACC team that really gives them a fight. But Miami has looked like one of the best teams in football this year. They have the best quarterback in football this year in Cam Ward. And um, they're a really good football team. That being said, there's a reason why Vatek had a whole bunch of hope and expectations heading into the season, right? And while they not quite lived up to them, this is kind of how their season went last year, right? They did really bad non-conference-wise. Um, they even lost, I think, Marshall last year. It was not a great start for Virginia Tech, but they turned it around. They ended up winning a whole bunch of ACC games. And was it like a game away from the ACC championship? Um, Vatek really turned it around last year. We'll see if Brent Pry can do a similar thing this year. I don't think Vatek's a bad football team. I think they've gotten bad luck, and they lost two really close football games. Now, I don't think Rutgers and Vanderbilt are even close to the same level as Miami. But, I mean, obviously Vanderbilt's not a bad football team. They gave Missouri a game last week. Um, I think Virginia Tech is a solid football team. And I think they go on the road and they give Miami a little bit of a scare. I don't think Virginia Tech wins, but I like Virginia Tech to cover the 17.5 point spread.